everyone, and welcome to a very special Halloween episode of Dan the Movie Man. This is Dan the Movie Man's Halloween special, and I have a guest here, Zach Attack from Death Comes Lifting. Thanks for having me, Dan. This has not been, a problem. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I'm really excited that we're camera. Yeah, camera cheers. be down. Sorry, I can't really see. I'm old through here. Uh, yeah, hey, we're good. We're good. We're good. But yeah, we're here to talk about our. Uh, should we? Uh, should we take, keep these masks on the whole time? I can't even. Through? No, I. This no, is. No, this is probably that, but we can have yeah. them here. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to talk about our five favorite. Halloween movies that we like to watch during the Halloween season or spooky season. Ooh. Right, so that uh, doesn't mean that these are our favorite horror movies. No. These, these are our favorite movies to watch specifically for this time of year. Correct. And I'm really excited to hear what you had to come up with. How did you go about choosing your top five? They, these are just movies that I typically like to watch every 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 um every season yeah every every halloween season right so off the month for me like a halloween movie has to feel good a little bit it could be like kind of fun for the whole family it could have a nostalgic like vibe Mm -hmm. like you grew up watching it something like that so that's how i formulated my list too okay not necessarily like what's scary but just the vibe okay you know what i'm saying let's kick things off with a couple honorable mentions to me in my head i only had two of them Mm -hmm. the first one is it's the great pumpkin charlie brown it's you know it's i mean if 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 you have little kids at home or whatever it's always good it's a nice short easy fun watch so that's one of my honorable it's mentions class is classic can't go yeah. wrong what about you uh one of my honorable mentions is a uh, halloween three season of the witch okay because it is my favorite of the halloweens besides the original mm. and it gets like unnecessarily shit on because michael myers isn't in it but the vibe is so good but i didn't want to include it on my list because i wanted to include some deep cuts on my okay list. that's halloween three have you seen it i have not dude i will watch it though we got it after this. we will yeah. yes okay. we will yeah we're gonna have a party and, you're not um, invited though yeah. <laughs> um, my other one, I only did two. My other one is uh, Hocus Pocus. So, you know, this is another good family friendly movie. Um, it's, I mean, I know it's really well liked. I know it gets released in theaters every year um, for its anniversary or whatever it is. It's, you know, it's, it's a pretty, I mean, I don't love it, but for it to make my honorable mention, it's, it's a pretty decent. I love Hocus Pocus. Mm-hmm. It's it's great, man. Have you seen the second one? No, I have not. It's okay, but the first one's the move yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, my second honorable mention is a 1971 British horror anthology called The House That Dripped Blood, awesome. and that is with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, the two main like Frankenstein Draculas of the British cool. world. Cool. I have so, not seen that one either. I will. I will. I this will is why it. I put it on my list, man. I want to let people know about the, you know, good vibes. We're going to put the mask back on. And now we get to our real list, ladies and gentlemen. Now that that's out of the way, we're warmed up. Your palates are cleansed. You know, get get another piece of candy. So what do you got on number five, Dan? Number five, I have it. And I have a question for you, Zach. Yes, sir. Would you like a red balloon? Yes. Because I don't have one. Fantastic. Okay. So this is the it, the the 2009 version. Um, the I think Bill Skarsgård. I think he plays Pennywise. Um, not it Chapter Two because I didn't really like that one very much. But it the the one that they the one that he did with the one with Bill Skarsgård. I thought is very good. Um, he is honest to God terrifying as Pennywise. Um. The movie, the first one itself, I just get, every time I watch this movie, I get chills from from his performance. Yours. Pretty good, pretty good. Although, just just out of curiosity. Yeah. What do you think about the original hit starring Tim Curry? Have you seen that? I have not. Dude. We're going we're gonna to have to, this is good, this is good. I love this. I mean, even though I call myself the movie man... I'm not really into much old th- movies, but you know. I think, I think people call you the movie man. I don't think you call your you earn that title. You know, you I, did, yeah. Yourself, yeah. I did, so, yeah. yeah, I did, yeah, I did, I did, buddy. Dude. Yeah, you, you know, know it. Brand. You know it. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> 
High five. My number five for yeah. the high five mm-hmm. uh, is a movie called Ginger Snaps. Okay. It's about werewolves. It's Ooh, about that teenage really girls good. that turn into werewolves. And like I said, is it like, scary? yeah, it's cool. And it's like a good, it's good to watch around Halloween because it's, it takes place in around Halloween and it's about teenagers, like going to like high school. Like it has that like mm. kind of nostalgic feel and yeah, it's about girls turning into werewolves. So mm. there's probably no metaphor we can draw there. You no. know what I'm saying, Dan? Yeah. 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 I do, but yeah, I don't yeah. have anything. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> there's nothing to be said. That's all you need to know. But anyway, it's good. It's from 2000. Okay. Yeah. So check okay. it out. Ginger snaps, ladies. Okay. Um, number four on my list, and this is gonna, and this is gonna, this is gonna like everybody's gonna laugh, but I don't know if you would classify this as a horror movie or a comedy, but Jennifer's Body. Oh, nice. By pick. Megan with Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried. Nice These pick. are um, I whenever I went to see this movie in high school, my cousin took me to see it. I fell in love with it instantly, even though I didn't think it was a. I even though I wasn't scared, um, it definitely get, it definitely has that Halloween or slasher vibe to it. Yeah. I mean, and you can easily call this a comedy too. But you know, this is definitely this movie has definitely had a reputation with it not being so good whenever it came out. But like as the year started to go on, people have started to really like this movie a lot. And you know, I just think it's it's a fun, it's a very fun. Um, fun movie to watch around this time of year i agree i think it's a great movie it actually is very similar to ginger snaps that'd be okay. a good, that'd be a good double feature okay so anybody out there the ginger snaps jennifer's body double feature mm-hmm. dark comedies you know that's, yeah that's a good yeah. vibe for around halloween yeah, yeah the light-hearted sense yeah. of right jennifer's body is a good soundtrack a great soundtrack it, it, how about that panic at the disco right oh, yeah. yeah 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 anyway my number four that's how I chose this because I wanted to get some. One of my favorite actors is Vincent Price. Dan. Okay. You know, Vincent Price, a super old um, horror movie actor, very theatrical. So I feel like we had to put, put Vincent Price in here. So I'm going to pick Mask of the Red Death Ooh. with Vincent Price. It's an Edgar Allan Poe story. So you hit Edgar Allan Poe, you got Vincent Price, you got Edgar Allan Poe, and it's basically about a medieval Halloween party. So it's just the vibe. So if anyone hasn't seen the 1964 Mask of the Red Death, do that. All right. We're on to number three. This is kind of like a double feature, but they kind of go hand in hand. Pearl and X. Dunn, um, who is Mia Goth, is in both of these. Who is absolutely phenomenal in this role. Um, I know I t- if, you, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I've... I thought that she should have won the Oscar for Pearl. Um, this is a really good, even though it's not really, they're not really scary movies. They're more of slap. They're more of slasher movies, but you know, there are parts in Pearl wherever she starts to lose it. And like the, the moments where she starts to lose it, um, it, it just, it really gives off high anxiety vibes and it's just really yeah. fun to watch her performance. So it's really great. Yeah, her like uh monologue at the end of Pearl that is was one of the that best. Was absolute, that yeah. is that is a monologue for the ages. I couldn't have said it any better myself, Dan. Yeah. So similar, and this wasn't even planned. This is just how in tune we are. Mine is also a double feature, two movies that are connected. Awesome. And that is Son of Frankenstein. I didn't pick Bride of Frankenstein or the original Frankenstein. Because Son of Frankenstein, you're going to get Bela Lugosi that's going to star as Igor as well as Frankenstein. So you get Dracula and Frankenstein in the same movie. And to go with that, there's Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. It's basically like the Three Stooges type type humor. So it's really funny, good for the whole family. You have all the monsters involved. It's a great thing to kick back, watch on Halloween, some candy corns and some whiskey. Right. That's awesome. Now on the number... What the fuck? Double features... Now on to number two. If, if you cannot, if if if, if uh, you can't tell already by what by the movie that's playing behind us, Trick or Treat. Um, this has this has this has pretty much the trifecta going for it. It has really great stories. Um, a couple of good scares, a couple of good scares, and it it really 
really gives off that Halloween, like that classic Halloween vibe that, that, that you just don't get with um, scary movies anymore. Michael Doherty, I think that's who directed it and wrote it, did a fantastic job with this. Mm-hmm. I hear that there is a second one in it's production. A big, it's a big rumor. It's been yeah. going on for a while. I know. Yeah. I really hope that it's true, and I really hope it can come out soon, especially yeah. with the strike. So Yeah, I hope so, too. We're yeah. pulling for it. I love a good anthology, like yep. Tune Tales from the right. Crypt. Uh, number two for you. Number two for me is an animated film Ooh. called Paranorman. You seen? I've it? seen. I've seen that many times. It's actually Paranorman. It's very. Yeah. It's. I. It's very good. I would. I would also recommend this one too. Yeah. I, I would. Yeah. I would say it's more than good, Dan. I'd say it's fucking great. I think it's one of the best animated movies ever made. It is. And well, I, w- I wouldn't. I wouldn't go so far to say that, but I mean, I you would. Know, I, I would right now. It's one of the best animated movies ever made. This isn't just my list. This is yours this too. This is yours so. too. Yeah. But that's. Yeah. That's pretty much all that I need to say about yeah. that. About mm-hmm. Paranorman. Mm-hmm. And my favorite movie to watch around Halloween. Again, like I might. Again, um. Is this is actually a tie between the between the original Halloween, obviously, and the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, both of which, like, if if anybody out there saw that saw the movie Halloween Ends, I don't know if, if you saw it. I did not see Halloween. It ends. was it was horrendous. It was I a heard. piece of shit. Yeah, so I don't. Even it was bother. almost like a chick flick. Yeah, it was like I heard Michael like Myers man. wasn't even in it. So he I was wasn't. Just like I'm not even gonna waste you know, my like, energy. And one of the things that I really want to drive home, like whenever they whenever they do remakes, they are not as good as the original. They need to stop remaking old classic horror movies like this and try to put a different spin on them. It doesn't work, especially with because the original Halloween. It's just so amazing and john carpenter does a fantastic job jamie lee curtis should have been nominated for that mm-hmm. not this past year when when she won for what the hell did she win for everything no everywhere i don't, I don't know, know she even won anything she won an oscar for i think everywhere everything everywhere all at once but she really should have won it for halloween oh yeah know. which yeah, was a compl- the movie that she won for was a complete shit movie but yeah and they're not and, halloween basically. yeah no. i mean she was amazing in halloween um yes, she was the original Nightmare on Elm Street is one of, like, it honest to God terrifies me every time Freddy Krueger comes on screen. Mm-hmm. And again, I want to make a point, another one with this, with the remake, the 2000, I think it was 2010 remake that they was, did. Yeah. It was horrendous. So bad. I couldn't, I, I don't think I even, I don't think I even watched it all. Like yeah, Jackie, Earl, it. Haley, who, he did a horrible job. So. Hear that? Watch the sequels instead. They're so much more fun. The Nightmare on Elm Street sequels. You ever see any of them? There's like fucking ten of them. But dude, I think the, the, the only the only one that I saw. I don't know if this was a sequel. Was Freddy vs Jason? Oh yeah, that's a sequel. That yeah. counts. I like Freddy vs Jason. Yeah, I, yeah. That's a good soundtrack too. <laughs> Look it up. Typo negatives right. on there. Your your number one. My number one. Sleepy Hollow. Ooh, Tim Burton. It's a good one. My favorite Tim Burton movie. Good one. My uh, again, I chose this list the criteria based on vibe atmosphere. For me, Sleepy Hollow just has that atmosphere, has that vibe. It's just like you watch it, and it's just like it's Halloween. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So, Christopher and Walken's in Christopher Walken's The Headless Horseman's a Beast. Christopher Lee, Dracula from The House That Drip Blood. He's the judge at the beginning. That uh, yeah sends Ichabod Crane to Sleepy Hollow, Beast, and uh, yeah. We got Johnny Depp looking better than ever. Oh, we yeah. got Christina yeah, Ricci looking better yeah. than ever. You know what I'm talking about, Dan, Zach, what? Not me, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a great movie. Love it. Um, also a fantastic soundtrack by Danny Elfman. Yeah. It's my favorite. So, The Cameraman has two honorable mentions. The Cameraman's I, about I, to drop I, it I've in. I've been watching so many this 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 month. I'm excited. Zach, get in here. <laughs> Should I get in there? Yeah, get in here. Come on. There, get in I'm here. just going to stay in. I'll stand behind you guys. You can like come with where the pumpkin is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come, yeah okay. come with the pumpkin. All right. <laughs> this is, no, no, we don't have to move no, it. No, yeah. I'm the pumpkin now. I am the pumpkin, okay. You are the pumpkin, pumpkin now. Two honorable mentions. The two I've, I saw, honestly, I mean, I've been watching a lot, okay? 
Thank you. <laughs> I've been watching quite. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. This is. Uh, no. It's my comfort pillow. You want to Jordan Peele? <laughs> Someone needs Jordan Peele. <laughs> I'm going to grab Peele. Give me a second. Yeah. Two movies that I saw. Plus. The Peele one. The, the Peele one the is. Peel. Uh, nope. I didn't I see you nope. like no. Nope. I love no. Nope. I hated. Nope. Oh, it's so good, Dan. Nope. Was... I liked Get Out. I haven't seen Get Out. I love Get Out. Get Out was. Amazing. I didn't see Nope though. I haven't seen. Get... I honestly, Nope was just like it wasn't as much of a horror movie as it is just kind of like um, like there's horror elements, but it's very like thriller, and there's also right. kind of like some more like adventure themes to it. Uh, like felt, Wild West type themes yeah, to it. That felt more of like a sci-fi movie. It was like a, a sci-fi adventure yeah. with some like thriller, like some like terrifying aspects to it. Is it about it, aliens? It is about aliens. It's, however, but it's a weird kind of alien. However, yeah. I did cool. like Stephen Yen. Yeah, he did great in that. Was, so um, the two honorable mentions I wanna I wanna shout, give a shout out to are. The, I think the one was called Talk to Me, and it was an A twenty four film. I saw that. I didn't see and that one. Before the movie. It was. It went. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you want to get depressed, that's a depressing horror film. But it is terrifying. It is terrifying. Yeah. It is very terrifying. <laughs> it's, and I, I hear it's scary from everybody. It is very it is scary. Very. It's. It's just the concept of it's pretty freaky and like. Um, nothing good really ever happens in the film. So you're just on this, like, constant, like, low, but the, the cinematography in it's very good, and, and all the characters in it are very interesting. And, Do you want to uh, talk to me? Talk to me. <laughs> what? I let you in. Where they, where, they shake, yeah. where they shake the hand, right? He says, yeah, talk he to says, me. Do you want to talk yeah, to says, me? Do you want to let me in? Let me in. I let you in. Let me in. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, let me uh, in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one, the shots in it were just so beautiful, um, and it was called the uh, the last voyage of the Demeter. Oh, the new Dracula. The new Dracula movie. movie. Oh, the, the new Dracula movie. Yeah, yeah. The new Dracula I movie. I might have gotten the name wrong, but we we, we it's just the last voyage of Demeter. The last voyage of. Demeter. I think it's Demeter. Yeah, so it's, it's the, the Dem yeah D E M E T E R or something Demeter. like that. I haven't seen it. But uh, they uh, it was just shot very well, and the way they did Dracula is very terrifying, and he's very like animalistic, but also he's like also kind of human. And yeah, that was good. It was uh, yeah, aesthetically, it was just like a very very fun um, movie. It's very gruesome, very brutal. Um, the gore in it was very fun and. It's un sometimes it got a little lazy, I feel like, but overall, it's a good film. I have not seen it, so I cannot comment. Those are just my honorable mentions. I can't give you my top what, five because I didn't think what, about them. What would you say your favorite horror movie is? My favorite horror yeah, movie? Just in general. Your favorite yeah. scary from the camera. While well, we have the cameraman on camera. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying As, to pick you his know, frame. Because uh, we've on we've been on a horror journey together. We have been on a horror game. journey. Yeah. And uh, it's hard to think about. Um, is it the shot? You should watch the Evil Shred too. I was gonna say the Evil sh Shred. <laughs> if the Evil wants... Dead Two is a top contender up there. I just think it's so fun. It is the best. Uh, shot. If I was, if we were back in high school, I would say Disturbia and Room fourteen oh eight. Oh yeah. No. Those were good times. We we me and Dan, Disturbia. we probably saw those two movies in theater like at least ten times. Fourteen oh eight bangs. Fourteen oh eight is so is good. Great. So great. John I love Cusack. John Cusack. He's the man. Yeah. And yeah. Samuel Cusack. L. Jackson's in it too, right? Yeah, he's yeah. so good. Fucking Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Um. Mad enough movie. is enough. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on, on this, this motherfucking, motherfucking plane. plane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great movie too. Snakes on a plane. There is another horror movie I I. I know I'm yeah, thinking yeah. of, but... Dan, what's your favorite horror movie? Not for Halloween or anything, just, like, favorite horror movie of all time. Um, probably, you know, like, if, 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 if I'm going favorite horror movie, mm -hmm. um... You're gonna hear it first here. It's probably between the original Halloween mm -hmm. or even, maybe even The Shining. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I can see that. Or I would even throw Shining. a trick or treat in there, trick too. Trick or treat in there? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Yeah, The Shining's kind of hard to beat. Yeah. Uh, in terms of film, I'll uh, I'll throw film. in. I'll think about my favorite, my top five Halloween, and I'll throw it in the description box. Yeah, you got yeah. it down below. Check it out. Check it and, down below. Uh, down below, and uh, yeah, I don't know. 
My favorite horror movie is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If anyone That's cares, so the that original. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah, 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 the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventy four, baby. Seventy four. That one's great. It's, it's so good. good. It's so demented and funny, and just has a vibe. The for being like vibe. for feeling so gruesome, it's not actually like that gory of a movie. Gory, like the re- it's an illusion. It they is all an illusion. The time. Yeah. The remakes are shit. Yeah, they are. That goes to your point earlier. Yeah. Don't try. Leave it alone. It's great. Yeah. And you know, I don't know because I think if I'm right, one of the remakes I think Jordana Brewster was in that, and I shit you not. She is such a bad actor. She, um, she's the one who plays Mia in Fast and Furious. Oh, she's in the beginning. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw: The Beginning is a yeah. prequel to the remake. Um, yeah, yeah. She dies at the end, just in case. Yeah, she does knows. because <laughs> she because gets, it's a prequel. They can't survive. She gets chainsawed like, right. She, she she gets chainsawed right through the seat. Right. Yeah, she does. Um, yep. 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 Wow. Do you see in the beginning. Go figure. But the original, yeah, come on. The original can't uh, beat. Yeah. My favorite Halloween movie was is probably Nightmare Before Christmas. No, that's no, that's, that's that's a vibe. That's yeah. a vibe. Yeah. It's a vibe, guys. It just was. It's always been. It's all. It just ever since I was a little kid, it's just to stuck me, with me consistently. To me, although it's like 50 50 it's hard to say. But like to me, a Nightmare Before Christmas is more of a Christmas movie than a Halloween movie. It kind of, yeah. It ends up just being, it feels more like movie. a Christmas yeah. movie. Like, the beginning's very Halloween. I get it. It's cool. But it's, I like to watch it on, on Christmas. Actually, you're, yeah. No, I, I mean, feel that. You know, the heart of it, it can, I feel like the heart of it's Christmas. And, you know, it can go either way. I it mean, really can yeah. go either way. And that's the beauty of that movie. It depends movie. on how you're feeling right. in life. Right. It yeah. does depend on how you're feeling in life. But, but I know what you're saying. Yeah. What you're both saying. <laughs> yeah. I just need to stop touching Keanu. I just it's can't. hard. I've Keanu tried. was I've just trying. in Pittsburgh. We're sorry. We, we're sorry. We missed Keanu. <laughs> it would have been too much if we were there. You know, we were doing. We were off doing important other things. Right. Um, cool. But I love John Wick. I wish they would make a John Wick Halloween, Halloween movie. movie. Yeah. Maybe that's what we need to do. He Maybe fights zombies. They need to pair yeah. John Wick with, with Dan the Movie Man and Death Comes Lifting. Yeah. And with Denzel Washington's character Robert McCall from The Equalizer. Goddamn right. All of that in the same yeah. movie. Yeah. And since you know Denzel, maybe you can hook that up for it. <laughs> That's true. You know. Link picture of Dan and Denzel. <laughs> Use code Dan the Movie Man on DeathComesLifting.com for five percent off your next purchase. Damn. How about that? All right. We should do more than five. Ten percent. Okay. Five. Yeah. We'll give Dan the Movie Man listeners a little bit more of an advantage. Dan gets fifty percent, but y'all get just Yeah, <laughs> Dan gets shit for free. Dan gets dude. free. We play it. He runs his whole goddamn empire. <laughs> Hi <laughs> five guys. Put them, put them all in here. Thank you guys for Thank coming you guys. on. Happy Halloween, Happy everybody. Halloween, Thanks guys. For having us, Dan. Yeah, man. Thanks for having. I'm an honor to be a guest on the show. Man. Oh yeah, I'll, always, always. Thank you. I wonder if I was in the shot or just like my head was crossed just out your, the whole time. Just say. <laughs> they might have just been Keanu. All <laughs> <time>. <laughs> Keanu on your Christian <laughs> so fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> All like right. the cam- the mythical cameraman doesn't show his face. <laughs> <laughs> Just Keanu. Just Keanu. <laughs> All right, that's it. And.